Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose a bad fuel injector using a screwdriver. So right here is a fuel injector and some symptoms of a bad injector or bad injectors would be bad fuel economy, hesitation, the car is idling poorly, engine misfire, and if your engine stalls. You could also get a lot of engine vibration when you drive because the cylinder isn't firing and you could also get a check engine light with misfire codes such as P0300 through P0308, depending on how many cylinders you have. A bad injector can cause the car to run rich or lean as well. Now, these problems could also be caused by other things besides a bad fuel injector. It could be caused by bad spark plugs, bad spark plug wires, and other problems. So this video will help you figure out if your injectors are bad, and if so, which ones are bad. So on most cars, the fuel injector is going to be located on top of the engine. We can see here on my Mazda B3000, there's the fuel rail, and it goes into three fuel injectors on this side. And what we're going to do, we're going to grab our long screwdriver and put the end of the screwdriver against the back of the fuel injector, just like that. And then you put your ear up against this end of the screwdriver. It kind of acts like a doctor's stethoscope. The injector should be making a constant pulsing noise, so it'll sound like a constant clicking. An injector that isn't firing won't make any noise, or it'll make noise inconsistently. So now I'm going to start the engine, and I'm going to put the camera up against this, and hopefully you could hear what the injectors sound like. Here's what it should sound like. You could hear that clicking and it's consistent. That means that the injector is firing and it's firing consistently. And you'll check each injector. So what's actually happening is that in the injector there's a coil that the electricity goes through and creates a magnetic field which lifts up this pin. And the pin's attached to a spring. So the charge creates a magnetic field, lifts up the pin, and then lets go when there's no charge and the spring pushes it back down. So it, it's constantly going up and down, up and down, letting pulses of gasoline in, and that's how the fuel injector works. And that's the, uh, the knocking that you hear, the tapping, is that pin opening and closing. So this test will be telling you which injector might not be firing or might be firing inconsistently, but that's all it's gonna tell you. It won't let you know if there's a bad spray pattern because the injector's clogged, or if the pin isn't going all the way down because the spring is worn out or the injector's clogged, so gasoline's leaking in. So this is just one method you could use. The other test is to test the electrical connection in the fuel injector and check the ohm reading using a multimeter. This is an easy test as well. And to see that test, I have another video. That video is going to pop up on the screen right now. And the link will also be in the description below. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. I answer all my questions and comments. And finally, check out the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages with the links in the description below.